Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to episode 3 of my Pokemon Violet Adventure. In the last episode, we made it here to uh, Lost Plato City, or town, I think it's Lost Plato's town. And we got a little tutorial about the Pokemon Center and all that jazz that we don't need to know. But we're going to do a little bit of backtracking here. So we're going to go back to the route we just came from, which is over here in Area 1, and just pick up a few items. And I want to show you guys, if you follow this path up here to the northeast, there is an insane amount of ground to be covered here. Um, also, I don't know some of these areas you might be able to walk up. Yeah, and like almost just like that. I don't know that we can get any higher. Probably not. That's pretty hilarious, though. I just slid up that one. We can totally go up this hill. Oh, look, there's a lit leaf. So, yeah, you can kind of glitch around the map if you play around with it enough as well. If you're trying to kind of just get somewhere, you don't think you can get to this thing might actually kill me I don't know if I should mess with this I want to try to throw one ball at it if it pops out I'm about to try to dip oh oh yeah it's gonna kill me it's gonna kill me it's gonna not let me run also and this is an example of why not to do this. If you do, just avoid the Pokemon anyway. Um, until you get to be a higher level. It'll probably let you run eventually. I think it would be pretty rare for one of these Pokemon to like wipe your team. But uh, we have one of these handy little revives here. So we'll go ahead and... We got five of them. We'll go ahead and use one. No big deal. That's what items are for. Oh, there's a vigor off up here. What level is that thing? Oh man, that's level 22. I do not want to mess with that. But hey, you can get up to this area long before you get like your ride Pokemon and stuff. So there are some items. This is one of the stakes that you will collect later in the game. I'm not going to talk about those right at the moment. But uh, they are something that you're going to want to look for later. I try to tend to avoid them early game because I want to get them all in one sitting. That way I can know which ones I've grabbed already. Because otherwise I just forget. And then it just becomes a whole big thing. And I don't want to deal with that. So yeah, there's a, there's a huge area up here that you can explore. Basically, like... I think we can... We might even be able to, like, unlock a Pokemon Center before we get to the school. That would be pretty nuts. I'm going to not mess with that guy also. So, wait, what do we got up here? Yeah, these are high levels, 19, 18. But you can catch these higher level Pokemon, and you can they will obey you in raids. They will not obey you in regular battle, unless they just randomly happen to listen to you for like a couple of turns there's a sub viper whoa dude there's a couple of sub viper that would be nice to have but i don't i just don't see that happening it's just such a hard some of these are just such hard pokemon to catch so anyway we're gonna do a little bit of traveling here because i'm gonna try to unlock this pokemon center to kind of show you guys how far are you just how far you can get in this game before you actually go anywhere like they they almost make it seem like you're locked to that school area but you're really not and there also is a way to cross water without using bridges I think we can I think we can go over here nah we can't do this so anyway there is a way to cross water. 
I'm gonna try to figure out if I can do it over here to show you guys. It's actually quite funny. Oh, we don't even need to. There's a there's a landmass over here that just connects. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We can just go. I think it connects. There's a couple of Stantler running around. A max ether. Yeah, so we can just go this way. I wonder if it'll actually let me go beyond the school, though. Like, I've never actually tried to do this. We're going to find out. Because that's pretty crazy, if so. Breaking the game as soon as it starts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see an item. A Pokeball. That energy root, that's pretty cool. Hikers are super popular. Okay. If you say so. So where is this Pokemon Center that I want to go to? And I see another item. Two items. Three items. There's one there. There's another revive. Another Pokeball. And what is this one? Two potions. So we just got all the items back that we used when Foy Coco got knocked out. Are these all like... Okay, this one's level 18. They're not all like an absurd level. Alright, so we're almost to that Pokemon Center. This is insane. We're going to the Pokemon Center after the school before we even get to the school. And this is definitely an example of you can play this game how you want. So the real question remains, can I like beat a gym or something before I get to the school? Or is there like some kind of, is there something that locks us out of this? And also, does this show up as a fly spot? Oh, it does. It totally unlocks it. So let's see, where else can we actually go from here? There are... Also, if you click the right stick in, it will, uh, you can rotate your map without doing that. But if you click it in, it'll lock the map. So we're right here. We want to go, we want to try to go this way. Let's just see what happens. This is pretty crazy. I don't know how far we'll actually get. We need to slide up that. There we go. And we can go to these towers and unlock the fly spots there, too. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So we're getting closer to our destination, but we're not quite there. We're going to have so many items, though, when we get there. It's going to be pretty nuts. I want to slide off of this. I don't want to go back up. I don't think. I think we're just going to stay here. Are we close to the destination? We're very close. I wish I had told you like how many meters it was. That would be kind of cool. It gives you no indication of how far away you are from it. So that's the only thing that's kind of a bummer about this. Like marking things on the map. It is useful though to at least have the little indicator on the map. But if it gave us like a beacon or something, that would be kind of cool. We've got items here. I don't think I want to drop down there. Because... I don't know that I can get out. I guess I can. Eh, let's just do it. Why not? Plenty of items to be had. Yeah, there's a way back up. So we're good. What the heck is that? 
Oh, that's one of those little cricket dudes. I can't think of his name. Oh, we're so close. I can see it on the map. Wow, hyper potions already? That's kind of cool. Now, does this sign tell us that we're going to... Okay, cool. Items everywhere. Is that a TM? Icy wind, that's useful. Alright, so let's get up this path. I think this goes right to the Pokemon Center, if I'm not mistaken. And we can continue on from this after we get through the school stuff. Because, like, we'll be able to just fly here. So I'll be able to achieve, like, upper parts of the map basically right from the beginning so let's fly back to lost platos and we're gonna actually continue on our adventure i won't bore you too much with glitching around the map but it is nice to be able to unlock the map you know before the time actually comes to get there that is super awesome So another thing you're going to do is fight the trainers because at some of the Pokemon centers, there's a gentleman there that will give you rewards for defeating the trainers. And there's a few of them around here that we can fight. Perfect timing. You wanted to challenge me to a Pokemon battle, right? Oh, she has a bounce sweep. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna learn moves right now because it just takes up extra time. I'll just go back through. And just look at all the moves I can relearn. There's a Muncha. And whatever this thing is. That's a Tarantula. 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 Bam. There's a Shrewdle. Alright. Let's try to catch this Shrewdle. I don't know that we can attack it without killing it. Maybe we can use bite. Okay, that works. caught so many Pokemon already it feels like. Should be able to get another one of those cool rewards soon for like filling up the pages in the decks. Oh, uh, what? Is, there's no Pokemon here. There's a Hopip. I see another Wooper. What a cool Pokemon. Let me show you this awesome looking Pokemon I just caught. Is it Shrewdle? There's a Pachirisu climbing the tree right there. I bet it's gonna run away. Oh, it's a Cheetah. 
it ends with an O, like Shrudel, Choodle. Not gonna be able to one shot this, unfortunately. I guess just looking cool doesn't cut it. Correct. Can I still get this Pachirisu? Oh, it's up there still. It was hiding. I thought maybe like once it went up the tree, it was a goner. Um, can I use bite or is it gonna die? Is it gonna die? Oh, he's growl. Okay, that's actually good. Because I think a second bite would take it out. If we crit it, it's still gonna die. Yep, I knew it. I had a feeling. I just had a feeling. Oh, it's not our sleep powder. I think I might take it up for that because uh, that would be good for catching mons. If we end up keeping it. I don't know if we're keeping it. But hey, right now we have it. Are we good on items here? And I think there's like a couple of more trainers. There should be one right over the hill here. And how many do we have to... How many do we have to defeat? I think he'll tell us. Been having some nice battles. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you've defeated three. Okay, so we just gotta beat this dude real quick, honestly. And then we can get a prize. I believe this one gives you Thunder Wave. But you can get like a Shell Bell. There are... There are a lot. A lot of prizes. Okay, so he has a Rookie D. We should be able to take that out pretty easily. It was a crit. I think that might have actually mattered. I guess I delivered you a win. Oh, yeah, he's a courier. Har, har, har. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Let's do this real quick. Get our prize. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. TM for Thunder Wave. All right, let's do this. Oi, punchy. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, punchy, let's have us a fruitful battle. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Alright, we're gonna get this Sprigatito up out of here, if I don't flinch. Oh, I didn't take it out, bro. You really work your type matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. Okay, Leafage, that's not gonna do much. Me, huh? Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're legit, Punchy. You know it. And the director said I was wholly inexperienced. Battling you was a blast. Think I better pull out my ace in the hole. 
about the terastalize. Terastalize is pretty cool. I like it. It's a neat gimmick. I do like the way they look crystallized, but I don't like the big giant things on their heads. I mean, some of them are cool. Like the dark type one's cool because it kind of looks like Haunter from like Gen 1. Even though, and then the ghost looks like the ghost that you can see if you don't have the Sylph scope in the Lavender Tower. So that's kind of cool. There's definitely some callbacks to Gen 1 there. And that's nice that they do that for players that have been playing since the beginning. Because like newer players, unless they've played the old games, they won't, they aren't going to know what any of that is. Ooh, I got paralyzed. Wow. Okay, well, that goes that. There goes that. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Scatterbug is evolving. Whoa! Right in front of the school doors. It's a spupa. It's confetti bug. We're gonna throw a birthday party out here. All right. Spoopa's pretty cool looking though, I'm not gonna lie. Amazing, look at you, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as a thanks. Maybe you should keep the revives since you died. Now, Mesa goes is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. We're going to just go ahead and go in here, but I'm not going to really go too much further after this. We're going to break this up into two, two videos because there's a lot of talking. And I do want to go through it because you only got to really go through it once. And it's nice for people that haven't played the game yet but don't want to read all the dialogue. And it's nice to have someone just read it to you. Especially like younger children. All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your looks, plus places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first, Perchy? Uh, we want tasty food for sure. Ah, I didn't have pegged you for a big eater. But that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Punchy. There's a few things that I gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform, if you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. <laughs> handy items for Pokemon to hold. You hold items in your hand. They're handy. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Alright. So we are going to go ahead and just end the episode here. 
And on the next episode, we will continue exploring Mesa Goza and continue on with our journey. So if you guys are new, definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.